Hello everybody, it's Duke. Uh, this lawnmower in front of you came in this afternoon. It's one that I sold a couple years ago. Uh, it was in pretty bad shape. The deck was rusted out on it. I put, took the motor off, it had a good motor on it. So I took the motor off, cleaned it up, painted it, rebuilt the carburetor, and uh, did a few other things to it. Guy called me this afternoon, told me that uh, it was uh, it would run for a little while and then stop. Run for a little while and then stop. So uh, tells me he's got water in the carburetor. Trash. And that's fine. Sixteen. Outside. That one's three eighths. Probably put that bigger size in there because it was stripped out or something. But, uh, well, yeah, and I'm Butterfingers today. Hey. Uh, I lift it up in the carburetor kit, the rebuild kit for his carburetor. Actually, more than what the carburetor costs. So, I'm just going to replace the carburetor on. Uh, if I need to, I'll check and see what it needs first. And uh, then I decide what to do. Carburetor on it for me. It's, got, it's not full of gas, but it's got quite a bit. Let me see if I can find the jar here. I've got one right here. That's got something in it. Let me find the jar. We'll see what's in that gas. Small peanut butter jar around. Uh, to uh, check this out. What do you think is causing that? I've never seen black gas before. Huh. 
that's a new one on me. Sit there and separate and see. What may have caused that? I've seen green gas before. That's ethanol. Plain and simple. I uh the guy gave me a bunch of Push more store about four or five years ago. His wife was getting after it. You see that trash in that? Now, that's one of the problems. But one thing about these, if you let them set up for any length of time with gasoline in them, your, your diaphragm gets uh, stretched, wrinkled, and that's what makes them go bad. But, the problem is, these gaskets, all it is is gaskets. You got two gaskets and a screen. Take these screws out. I didn't broke that gasket, but it's alright, I wasn't going to use it anyway. Well, if I get that screen, screen off there. Best one of screws. Uh. Uh. That gas is not going to come off. That screen. But these, these plastic carburetors, they'll warp from heat and uh, best way to check them is take your straight edge let's see and I've got one here somewhere I don't use it enough to remember where I put it. But anyway, yeah. All right, now, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, so let me turn this screen around where I can see it. See the light? Well, all right, you see the light? This this uh this carburetor is it's not warp bad, just bad enough to uh, make it leak probably because he his plant was it would run and then shut off. He'd crank it back up and it'd run it'd shut off. Ten o'clock at night, and I'm sitting here drinking coffee. But uh, I drink coffee twenty-four-seven. So I 
And there's another thing. Let me get a light. See that trash in that carburetor? Let me see. Can you even see that? I don't think so. Alright, this is full of trash. I see no. Yeah, there's grass clippings in there. I have no idea how. I know how the grass clippings got in there. That is from I'm gonna have to wash that tank out. I just don't know what caused that. Never seen it before. If it was oil, it would have smoked. It don't look like it's running like carburetor very much. You may have been messing with the springs on it because they're on wrong. Well, take some pictures of this carburetor. I'm going to go in tonight and order one. Go ahead and get a carburetor. But like I said before, uh, the uh, Even though the repair kit did not consist of much, I went down to uh, shop here. I buy parts at sometimes. I'm in a hurry. And I pay double what I do online. I can get a carburetor that comes with a, a kit, gasket kit and everything for uh, $18. I'll, now, if I was to go down to the dealership or go down here to the uh, repair shop and buy one, it would cost me uh, I think the last one I bought was $46.99 or $56.99. I believe it was $46.99. I'll clean this carburetor, I mean, this tank out tomorrow. Maybe that'll be separated where I can see it. If I can think of it, I'll show it to you. Again, my, my videos will not be, uh, what do you call it, edited because. No matter how much I try, just can't seem to get the hang of it. So, I'm not going to push it. Give myself a headache. I don't know what they're doing. I have lost both of my magnetic pickup tools. So I've got to order one of them and buy one. With my back, they, they come in handy. I have looked everywhere inside these little boxes. I just left it stuck to something problem.
So, uh, that's it for tonight. Oh, no, it ain't either. I am working on a, uh, a walk cooler. I'll show it to you. As a matter of fact, I might do some work on it tonight. Because I ain't got nothing else. He's put a new filter in it. Now one more piece to come in, and uh, I'll have everything I need. All right. So this is going to be my my fans. There'll be one here and one here. These wires want to buy a pigtail, you know, make them into one. And it comes with a, can you see that? Alright. Anyway, my fans. Raise you up some. There, now you're looking down on it and you can see it better. All right. All right. So these two fans will be right here. This is an adapter. Because these are 12 volt fans. This changes into 110. And I'm going to make it to where I run off of a 12 volt or 110 with a. Uh, uh, variable speed control and and at 12 volts one of these uh this box just tore up so I just put this back in uh at 12 volts and full 12 volts which is uh what was it Uh, it's DC 12 volts. It, uh, so it right there. Brush, brushless 12 volt DC. It has uh, 93 CF, 95 CFM to full full power each one. Then I was going to have three inch uh, PVC pipe coming out here. I changed it to two inch. I'm going to leave these loose where they can be rotated back and forth. They can either go that way or that way. And if you want to add more, you can add one here on this side and one here on that side. But uh, I will try it first with just one motor. If it's enough, and it puts, a, put up, puts, up, put out, puts out a, enough uh, wind and everything, Please, let me try something right quick.
goes this way. Yeah. All right. Now. Let's see what the uh, speed is that pan. The way it feels is going to take both of them. Can you see it? Alright. Six point two mile per hour. It's going to take both of them because coming out here, of course, they're not sealed or anything, so. That's full blast. But it'll still work off 12 volt. Like I said, I got a pigtail that'll run both those pans into one control unit. So, uh, that should help. And then I'll start doing my test with the uh, first one do do it with uh, ice water and uh, not ice water. Do it with ice. We'll put two bags. Of, I think two bags of ice should work in that. And see how long that ice lasts. And how, if it'll cool, how much it will cool my heart, my camper down. And then I'm going to uh, uh, that in there. That way, I don't know where it's at. That's got to go in the camera anyway. Uh, I'll try, like I said, I'll try with the ice first by itself, see how it does. See how long it cools down, see if it cools down the camper and how long the ice lasts. Then, uh, I'm going to try with the ice and water to see if that makes the ice last longer. Now one uh, theory I have that might work is uh, making brine water uh, a heavy salt water and pouring it over the ice will make the ice melt slower. I don't know yet, but I, I think it will work that way, I'm not sure. Uh, I heard about it somewhere, but I just can't remember where. And then I'm going to try it with uh, frozen jugs of water and get, I think, probably two of them in here, maybe three, with, with uh, just jugs of water, I mean, just frozen jugs of water. And then with frozen jugs of water with, uh, with ice. And then uh, I've got several gel packs. They're not going to be nowhere near, near enough uh, that uh, I've got. I've also got an ice machine. It uh, you put ice in it. My wife got it whenever uh, she had her knee repair, uh, knee replaced. Uh, they gave it to her and let her bring it home. It wrapped the knee up in an ice circulating ice pad, and it was too cold for her. Uh, I mean, ice would last. Just it maybe half the size of this, and it took. Uh, about five pounds of ice and uh, it would last uh, all, all day almost eight hours at least eight hours and uh, so I may I can, maybe I can make something out of that I don't know yet
But anyway, I just, just got some ideas. Uh, I can't remember where I heard about the, using brine to slow down the, the melting point of ice. I heard it somewhere. And, uh, of course, the gel packs. A friend of mine, uh, I didn't know about it, but you can make gel packs out of uh, alcohol, water, and, uh, well, what do you call those? Uh, that uh, moisture beads, I believe is what it is. They'll turn into a gel if, when you add water to them. I mean, it soaks up the water, turns into a gel. So I'll try that too. Uh, let's see. I'm going to try everything I can. And I'm going to keep track of, written down track of all of how it works and everything. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'll try to think of something else. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to bolt anything down. I'm gonna, it, these are not going to be bolted at all. I'm going to put a small piece of uh, two inch PVC in it and it's just going to sit in the hole and work back and forth. The fans, I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue them down to the top of the lid to hold them in place. And if it does work, I'll uh, uh, put screws through them and bolt them to the lid. If it doesn't work, I can take them back off and use them for something else. Then, uh, uh, these fans are also used for uh, cooling uh, the coils on uh, RV uh, refri uh, refrigerators. Uh, they say that if you put them on the back of the coils and have them blowing air over the coils, it uh, keeps the coils cooler and makes the refrigerator work more efficiently. I don't know. I mean, I do, I do know bigger RVs with uh, larger refrigerators, refrigerators in them, they do have uh, The, the cooling fans on the, on the fans. Uh, I saw a guy replace a set and uh, it took him a little while but yet he was able to do it. The, his, his refrigerator took two fans, one beside each other and you can buy the, you can buy the set, they don't cost that much and they plug right into 12 volt and they run if your if your AC if your uh, 12 volts on, they run continuously. There's no cutting them off. So uh, I guess that's it. I was supposed to put out a video not too long ago, but things didn't work out the way it is. Uh, I told a friend of mine that I was going to have a video out so he could see it. And it didn't work out. But anyway, uh, I will see y'all later. Uh, I'm working on another uh, riding lawnmower tractor. It's a Cub Cadet. Uh, it was given to me, and uh, I've been working on it. I just thought I'd do this video, put it out there to give y'all something to look at. Give everybody something to talk about. But uh, I will see y'all on the flip side. Y'all be good to one another. And uh, God bless y'all. Catch you later.